the cuticles on my hair shafts, they're really tight. And so it's harder for products to penetrate my hair, which is why the hello beautiful people welcome to my channel in today's video i'll be giving you guys my wash day routine and i'm embarrassed by how long it's been since i last washed my hair so for today we'll be needing a lot of patience a hooded dryer Lots of clips, a comb, a brush like this, some more clips. <laughs> and I'm gonna start off by detangling my hair with my fingers. Occasionally add an oil, water, and or pre-poo to each strand of my hair. Don't be fooled, I spent around 30 minutes going through my hair with my fingers. As you detangle your hair, you wanna plait them into different sections. I'd say about three to eight. You can wash your hair in these plaits to reduce manipulation. Less hair manipulation means better hair retention. Step number two is to wet, and I mean drench my dry, thirsty hair in water. You'd be surprised how long this takes. It actually takes a very long time because I have low porosity hair, which I'll be explaining later on in this video, but essentially this means that my hair is not as porous as normal porosity hair, and it therefore takes a longer time for water to penetrate. So I'm gonna spend some time just making sure my hair is actually wet, Next, I'll be going in with my first cleanse. I'm not even going to gatekeep this wash day staple. I'll be using Aunt Jackie's Oh So Clean Shampoo. It's moisturizing, which is what my hair needs right now. My scalp is my primary focus to ensure I remove any excess oils or debris. And honestly, that first cleanse did not count. As you can see, some parts of my hair have not even been touched by the shampoo. Yeah, right there. Low porosity hair problems. I'm gonna rinse that first cleanse out real quick and repeat. Second time is definitely a charm. And as you can see, my hair is lathering, which is a good sign that it's getting cleaner. Since my second cleanse is technically my first cleanse, it's only right that I give her a third cleanse. And now I'm thoroughly rinsing the shampoo out of my hair. The main characters of wash day have entered the chat. Time to condition and deep condition my hair. I don't know about you guys, but I be slapping conditioner in my hair like it's some sort of relaxer. <laughs> There aren't many rules when it comes to conditioner, but if you're going to silk press your hair, definitely use a lighter product. I'm using a heavy hand when it comes to adding conditioner, especially to my ends. I should probably rinse this out now, but no, I'm just going to go ahead and make a conditioner cocktail and add some deep conditioner to this mix. Mm -hmm. In an effort to retain length, I've only finger detangled my hair thus far. So right now, since I'm actually combing my hair, I'm handling my hair with immense grace and patience. Because I'm really taking my time with the comb, detangling can take up to 15 minutes, which is pretty long. So I'll finish detangling my hair in front of a mirror. Right now I'm adding even more conditioner, detangling, and sectioning my hair into about six plaits. Now that my hair has been detangled and sectioned, I can finally put my shower cap on. Anyways, so now it's time to deep condition my hair with heat okay and i don't know how you guys usually do that but the way i do it is with lady daisy lady daisy is a real one that's my day one actually she's probably been in the family longer than i've been alive now that i think of it because like everyone done ran through her my grandma my mama we all used her this is lady daisy lady daisy 
see that's her name so this is my hooded dryer like i don't remember a time in my life where this hooded dryer was not within the house and i've tried to replace it but nothing else compares like i got this one and it was gifted to me which was an amazing gift however the fuse burnt out like i think two years in i just went back to lady daisy because that's what works for me that's what works the reason as to why I use heat when I'm conditioning my hair is because I have 4C hair. And on top of that, I also have low porosity hair. Low porosity hair means that the cuticles on my hair shafts, put on my nerd glasses. Anyways, the cuticles on my hair shafts, they're really tight. And so it's harder for products to penetrate my hair, which is why the heat comes in and allows those cuticles to kind of lift and it allows for the products, whatever I'm putting on my hair, it allows for it to actually penetrate the hair shaft and it makes my hair more soft and manageable because my hair is actually being conditioned. Otherwise, the conditioner is going on and slipping off, but it's not penetrating my actual hair. So that's why I use heat. It's definitely a game changer. And I know a lot of people go heatless and whatnot, but for me, for me and my house, we don't use that heat when we deep condition it. So I just had to Google what I just said because I'm like, does a hair, a hair strand, does it have a cuticle? Like that doesn't really sound too right, but it does. Here's a picture of the hair. So the shaft that I was referring to is a hair strand, I guess. And then the cuticle is like, you know, those little flakes, you see those flakes? That's the hair cuticle, wow. Oh yeah, I Google some stuff too. <laughs> I highly encourage you guys to find out the porosity of your hair. If your hair takes a long time to get wet like mine or it's almost water resistant, that's a sign that it's low porosity. So now I'm gonna deep condition my hair for about 15 to 35 minutes. And I think there are so many ways to kind of multitask during this time. I have been trying to finish this book, so this was the perfect opportunity. After deep conditioning, I'm going to hop back into the shower and rinse out the conditioner. Hello, curls. My hair was feeling so strong yet so soft. I love how my hair feels after these sessions. For the next step, you can either air dry or blow dry your hair. If you are using heat, please use protection. I like to physically stretch my hair as I blow dry it. And then I blow dry it with a brush, as I'm doing right now. Praise the Lord, we've made it to the end. My hair is blow dried, it's looking all healthy, it's clean. And she's ready to go back into her protective style because I'm a lazy natural hair care girly. Mwah.